morning has broken my windows are open wanna feel the wind blow through my hair which way do i follow what happens tomorrow i turn to you and hope you can guide the way sometimes i give up just wanna be on my own good morning everyone it is sunday morning i could just see my gorgeous little granddaughter just running Round, I think she wants to come on the swing with me, so I'm just gonna grab her. Hang on a sec. Hey, where are you going on your holidays? Yeah. So, we're just about to go to church. Martin just loaded up the car with these guys' suitcases because they are getting a flight today. So, yeah, they're going on their holidays. Where are you going? You're going to Sunny for Ventura, yeah, for a whole week with mommy and daddy. Yeah, hi. Hi. Are you pretty girl? Yeah. I'm going to miss her like crazy. Anyhow, so I'm going to do a day in life, so I'll bring you along for... <laughs> bless you, sweet girl. Bring you along for what today holds. I'll catch up with you soon. Even in the darkest times you give me I lean on you when I've lost my way I keep holding on for a better day I lean on you when the world's astray I left my heart open so you hear my prayer I left my heart open so you hear my We are just, we've just dropped the guys you would have seen at the airport, they're off on their holiday. We are so excited and we hope they have the most amazing time. It's red, red hot. But me and the gorgeous hubby are walking around, surprise, surprise, to the pub for a few drinks and a little bit of lunch. Because we figured, why not? I'm not sure what footage if any at the pub because there is a jukebox and I he's got no change <laughs> he's got no change to put anything in there but it's on all the time and I don't want to get copyrighted so I can't really film much in the pub at all obviously this will coincide with the start of my meals of the week it's going to look very different this week obviously because it's just me and Martin but I'll share it anyway so whatever I have this week you will see what else have I got going on obviously I've got to do the food job tomorrow but again it's just me and Martin and I think we're just going to eat try and eat a bit healthy the like, coming week just because to be quite frank with you I've been feeling a little bit uh, as you would have known from my last video just my hormone levels and when they go like that my confidence and myself you know whatever it is self-confidence whatever goes through the floor and i'm feeling a bit mm. I don't know why, you're gorgeous. <laughs> he said he don't know why because i'm gorgeous but i don't feel that way i feel miserable so and i'm not doing anything about it so that's not helping me so i'm gonna try and eat a bit better this coming week so yeah i'll be held accountable because if you see
see lots of rubbish. <laughs> Anyhow, I will catch up with you when I'm showing the meals, but you won't see that in this video. Or maybe you will. We'll see. All right. See you later. Cheers. Okay, so we went to the pub, we had a bite to eat, we've been home for a little while, I put some cycling shorts on a t-shirt and we've been just chilling in the lounge because it's so cool in my house downstairs, just watching um, Grey's Anatomy <laughs> and now it's supposed to say that there's supposed to be a storm, it does look, I'll show you the sky does look like it could be a good thunderstorm which I think we could do because it's quite muggy but hubby's going to water the plants anyway let me just look at the sky he's watered these the front plants Oi, cheeky. Still trying to protect the plants from the squirrels. The squirrels seem to really like my flowers for some reason. Oh. I have no motivation this afternoon whatsoever. It probably doesn't help the couple of beers. I feel very lethargic. Look how well my flowers are doing. Still looks so beautiful. Oh, it looks so beautiful. So pretty. I'm just debating whether to have oh what's going on with my hair. Whether to have a shower, get my PJs on. I'm listening to an audio book at the moment. It is I showed it on my Instagram. It is called um, Love Untold by Ruth Jones and it is actually narrated by Ruth Jones so it's great. I'm like really enjoying it. It is part of my book club um, but I don't think it's this month's one. Let me see if I can find it on here. Let's see if I can just show you a little bit of her narrating. Because if it's your cup of tea, I'd like to have an audio book. Of course, I've got no internet. I never have any internet. Hi, Bella. Right, let's have a look. What are you two in cahoots about? said Grace, smiling as she approached. Ice cream, said Nita, quick as a whippet. I'm giving you some to take home for your tea. And as she turned on her heel, she sneaked a little wink at Becca. After supper, the three... How great. Like, it's just so lovely that it's her little voice. So, yeah, she changes it for different characters. So I am enjoying that part of it. There's not really much else going on tonight, to be honest with you. I feel so hot. It's so muggy. Um, I don't know whether we're going to watch a movie or I don't know so I'll probably just wrap it up here to be honest and I possibly might continue into tomorrow um, so yeah I'll say good night for now and I'll see you in the morning lots of love God bless sun to shine I was crying on my own It was all a waste of time all along Yeah, I waited through the summertime 
okay so i'm dressed now for the day it is just gone nine o'clock so i am going to whiz over i was really debating this week whether to do little sainsbury's aldi I think I'm just gonna to go to Aldi and take it from there because it's just me and Martin this week. I think what I'm gonna do is just do some really basic, easy dinners. So I apologize if the next meals of the week that you see isn't up to scratch, but the reality of life is sometimes, this time, this weather, I just don't, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to go into the food shop and I'll whip that away. And then I've got my washings in the machine at the moment, one load. That's nearly done. I'm going to pop that on the line. It is very cloudy. It's supposed to be a storm, but it's muggy as anything, so it still should dry quite well. And I don't know what else I've got planned for today. It depends on my energy levels once I get back from shopping, but I will catch up with you in a minute, probably in the car. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to go head around to Aldi. I'm just going to bite the bullet. I think what I'm going to do, do you know, I've never tried salmon before. Well, no, that is not true. Let's, let's back up, back up. I had salmon when I was a kid. When I say a kid, I was like <laughs> 17, 18. And no, I didn't like it at all. But I feel like I would like it now because I love mussels and lobster and all kinds of fish and prawns and squid and... I eat, ev I eat everything um, fishy, really, so I'm not really a fan of sea bass. Yeah, there you go. Anyhow, I think Martin won't eat salmon, no chance, but I could get him like a fish cake or something like that. But I don't really, I do have a list on my phone. Yeah, I do have a list. I've done like a little checklist. I use that on there because I always end up forgetting a pen anyway, so I'm just like, yeah, my brain's frazzled. But I think it's going to be like salady bits. I'm going to try and eat a bit healthier this week because I've been a little bit low. I think it's just my hormone imbalance. But when I get like that, I am very, very negative on myself. Like, very negative. Like, even now, I feel like I'm going to burst into tears, <laughs> which is so ridiculous. I think it's because I've been getting some bits from Vinted and stuff and it's not been fitting. So it's been making me feel a bit rubbish and it's only me... It's what I'm shoveling in. And I watched this lovely, lovely woman. Honestly, if you don't watch her channel, please go and check her out. Her name's Emma. But her channel's are the Dog Poo... It's, it's either the Dog Poo Fairy or the Dog Poo Pro. I'll, um, I'll link her channel below. But she had um, weight loss surgery. And, oh my gosh, does she look incredible. Like, wow. Um, she was beautiful before. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's done amazing. And the the point behind my story is, because she's had weight loss surgery, she's lost weight from the amount that she puts in her body now, because she physically can't. So, it's up here. The battle's up here with me. I know it is. I've got a very, very unhealthy um, relationship with food. I don't like any... The thought of anyone being hungry really upsets me. I can't, I can't abide. Like if the kids have ever said that they're hungry, I just can't. Yeah, I'm, I am a feeder. I, yeah, I I need to like work on that. Anyhow, I'm no one being totally totally negative. Any tips out there of how I can change this? Um, you know, Martin gets really upset with me because he says how much it hurts him when I'm negative about myself because it's like somebody's disrespecting his wife and that he adores me and and I know he does, I know he does. But I look sometimes and I think, how? Look, look, like, yeah. Oh, I've got to stop this. I think it's, I think it's just the holidays coming up and... We've got some big things coming up next year. You know, my, my eldest daughter's getting married and we've got a big family holiday and yeah, I'll be all right. I'm just, I just want to eat. I just want to eat better this week. But the, do you know what the problem is? When I've eaten, like after I've just eaten, I'm in, I'm in the best frame of mind. I'm like, right, because you're not hungry, because you're not thinking about food. I woke up this morning and I was so hungry. I woke up literally 
I was like, I need to have my breakfast. Um, obviously, because I've not been shopping yet, I did have my honey on toast, which is like my thing that I have. But that's going to have to change. I can't keep shoveling bread in my gob. I need to stop. Probably won't put all this bit in. I hate it when I'm negative. I don't like being a negative Nelly. Thing is, I know what to say. If my if one of my girls or a friend said to me, "What what should I do?" I would say, "Take each day as it comes. Plan your meal so that you're not starving, so you're not hungry before." you know so you grab the wrong thing don't get the wrong thing so that it's there to grab and cut down your portions bulk up your plate with healthy very low calorie food and just put little bits of other things on there so i i do know what to do i'm not I'm not a complete moron <laughs> What a great start to the day. Hey. Right, anyway, I'm going to go shopping. The sun is not out, which is good, because although it's very muggy and still very hot, it doesn't feel as stifling as what it does when the sun's out. So I'm going to go and get this all done before that all changes. And I will um, sort my, fix up my attitude. There's worse things going on in the world than my chubby butt. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, I'm done. I spent more than I was expecting for just me and Martin but I feel like when you are eating healthy that is inevitable so not not as pleased as I could have been with that whole situation but it's done I've got some healthy uh, meals for the week I don't really I oh, you know, I'm an, I'm an absolute idiot. It was so busy in there. I think because everyone's got the same idea, they've had a hectic hot weekend and because it's a little bit cooler, they've come out to do their shopping. And so it's really busy. And all the workers uh, had all the trolleys, like the cages out. And so it's just a bit of a nightmare. So I didn't bother to get my list out, which is like a really silly silly mistake because i then wasn't following any kind of rhyme or reason to it but i'm not going to dwell on that because i managed to get some salmon ah, i'm a little bit nervous about that only because i don't want to waste money and i feel like if i don't like it then i've wasted but the worst thing that's going to happen is i don't like it and i don't buy it again you won't see my grocery haul because, well you will <laughs> but you're not going to see it in this video that's what I'm saying um, so you would have already seen it yeah you would have already seen it is that right? no you wouldn't off silly billy you're going to see it on Friday today is Wednesday for you and Monday for me making it too noisy for you I can't help it I love having little chit chats with other people in there it's so cute there was this um, older lady I mean she looked blooming good she was like she said she was 84 she looked good she was saying that she was in the middle of planting some plants at the weekend and she said it just got too hot for her so she just abandoned that and she's going to try again this afternoon but we we're just chatting and i was sharing my little tip um for her in case she didn't know but she's got a better one <laughs> which is why i love having these conversations with people so i said i keep like um some flannels in the fridge and a little sandwich bag and just get them out when you're really struggling or you know when you've got jobs to do like I need to clean the bathroom and regardless of the heat you still need to be done you pop the flannel around the back of your neck sometimes you can slay it on your chest if you're just sitting sitting there just trying to cool down all your feet 
so I have interchangeable ones in, in the fridge and I was telling her about it and she said I've got one of those fan things that go around your neck and I thought I saw somebody at church on Sunday with it and I said to my husband I said to Martin oh babes that looks so cool I think I'm gonna have to get one of those so that's our plan I've got one of my uh, you would have seen it in this video when I was at the pub I've got a video a uh, little fan um, that's like hasn't it can stand up on, on a table or something like that and that was brilliant but it didn't last very long I think because I'd used it at church in the morning and then um, had it at the pub it, it was no it didn't last very long so Martin said I think we need to get a couple more like so we can have them charged and especially for ca like imagine being all like camping in this heat when you've got no electricity to be able to plug in a fan not gonna happen and I'm not gonna have a fridge to pop a flannel in <laughs> anyhow sorry about the waffling it's what I do I've just got to put all this stuff away now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head to the garage fridge and just chuck it all in there rather than because I just I just don't have the energy what I want to do is sit down chill out listen to the rest of my audio book or well, not the rest of it because I don't really have time for that the sun's coming out now um yeah just relax what I'm really going to have to do though is put the shopping away um I do need to clean the bathroom and toilet but I might do that tonight and then have a bath and everything afterwards so that I'm nice and clean and I need to sort out the washing and pop that on the line. I'm not going to be a lazy mare, I'm just going to get on with it because it's better for my mental health for me to be able to tick off lists. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if you can see. You can't see. Because it's in my wing mirror. I'll take you off, hang on a minute. This is literally what I have to put up with, with my cat. She lies on my drive. I'm going to hold this here and see if we can um, not kill her. <laughs> Not run over my cat. Look, she's gonna walk behind. This is what my cat does every single time I come home. Every single time. Look at the weeds on the drive as well. It's terrible. Must be so careful. Rat bag. Look at her. <laughs> What a nightmare she is honestly every single time and she does it to neighbors and everything and the neighbors are always saying to me your cat run behind my car the other day and I'm, like, I'm so sorry like she honestly thinks that she's the boss of the street and she's not she got into a, a delivery driver's van once as well luckily he noticed otherwise she would have been gone forever anyhow <laughs> let me get in and waffling on telling you my life story again i'll catch up with you once i put the shopping away okay so i've just done my grocery haul for everyone and now i need to put it all away there's not that much considering how much i've spent but it's you know let me just show you this is that's my tripod <laughs> that i'm filming you on my dgi just because I get a bit confused. Just that's my chalk. I'm just going to pop that back in the cupboard. Because um, I've just done my meal plan for the week. Um, it's rough. So I'm doing uh, fish, uh, new potato salad, do roast chicken salad, chicken pasta salad, quiche and salad. Salad, salad, salad. That's my out of date milk, which I need to pour down the sink. That's the drainer that goes on there. Blah, blah, blah. I oh yeah let me just show you as well these are my um 
flannels. <laughs> these, are my, these are my flannels that are in the fridge for me to pop for me to pop around my neck. Right, I think I'm going to put most of this in the garage fridge except for the tea that we're having tonight which is going to be fish. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this because there's two pieces of salmon in there and and how do I I just wrap it up let me figure that out before I, I don't want to do that all on camera you don't want to be bored with that and then I think I'm going to chop up some no I'm not I was going to say I'm going to chop up the melon but I'm not going to do that yet because I've got other fruit that I need to eat first so I'm going to keep that in the fridge because it's probably not that ripe at the moment but yeah I'm going to have to bag this up and take it into the garage and pop it in the fridge in the garage so that I can actually fit it in I'll come back when I've done that I don't know why I'm doing my head like that. <laughs> this is my like I don't think you're gonna be able to see it you might see it when I'm in the garden <laughs> it's not something that I that I tend to wear other than holiday or just a lounge back in the garden but yeah I'll uh, catch up here and put the motion out Bumblebee, the songbird, the bird song. <laughs> it's beautiful. Right, the shade is up the top part of the garden for now. The sun's full up down the patio. I'm going to 
to go and get my drink. The other load is in. I don't know how long it's got left on it, so I'll just pop that out when it's done. I'm just thirsty. I'm not. I'm not hungry at all. I've popped my drink in this um, insulated cooling mug from Punta Canta when we went to the Dominican. Or was it Mexico? Dominican, I think it was. We saw everyone having them, so it was like a brilliant idea because your drink gets, just goes warm straight away. I don't think I'm going to sit in the garden yet. It is too hard. Oh, look, I've just seen Bella. Let me just show you. She normally lays in the border. What am I doing? But she is laying behind the furniture. <laughs> Which is really odd because normally, sorry, that is uh, JJ just sent a, through a little picture of Amelia on her first day of the holiday. She's in her little sunsuit, so I'll pop a picture. Pop a picture here. <laughs> um, yeah, so what was I just saying? <laughs> There's no way I can sit in the garden yet, not until the sun's off the patio this is like the peak i'm just too hot i think i'm gonna drink my drink listen to a bit of my audio book my eldest granddaughter bless her little heart little waver has got chicken pox and the problem with that aside from all the other kids in the family is that i keep getting chicken pox i've had it three times i've had it twice as an adult once as a kid so i, I, I say keep getting it but it's Obviously, it's in me to have chicken box. So I need to stay clear, really, because obviously we go away soon and, yeah, I don't really want to be ill. What I'll probably do is I'll do, like, um, like a pack with me. I might... I'm not a professional packer by no means or any, any of that malarkey, but I might just run through what kind of things I'm going to be taking and if it's interesting to you. If you think no, then I'll just stick to a regular day in life. But I figured I'm nosy. I'd like to know what kind of stuff people take on holiday and yeah. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. If you're not interested, let me know in the comments. I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think I'll wrap it up here actually. I'd really love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, shared with someone that you think might like me <laughs> that sounds so like self-absorbed doesn't it M might resonate with me let's let's go with that uh, a little bit nutty like me yeah we'll do that then yeah share my video with them if you're not subscribed why not what aren't you sure about <laughs> let me know if you are subscribed please know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Honestly, I just think it's just beautiful that time after time you continue to come back, support my channel, watch my videos, even when they're really, really boring and I don't think I'm interesting at all. And yeah, I just need you guys to know that I just think that that's lovely and I do think I've got the best subscribers I feel like I've got such a wonderful wonderful community and yeah I really love you guys so much I know people can say all, all these words all the time but I don't talk to no one I don't really have well you know I don't have people so uh yeah i can be a bit lonely and this little bit feels like i'm communicating with some friends which is is very very nice and i appreciate it very much i'm gonna love and leave you there because i'm really really waffling and all about a whole heap of nothing i hope that everyone's okay and i will catch up with you really really soon lots and lots of love god bless can you hear that that is the thunder. Look at this.
I need to grab my phone case, hubby phones. This is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Hubby's late today. This is honestly the craziest weather. I'll show you. Thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time.